If Thundercat was a piece of art, he would be the Shrek 2 DVD extras. <laughs> Which I don't know if you've seen them, they're beautiful. We met at Freaknik in 1994. I was wearing a full, like, aluminum foil bodysuit in 90 degree Atlanta weather. And he was, uh, he was twerking at a gas station. I pulled over. <laughs> Twerking for what? He was twerking the gospel music, and I said, what's up? He's going to draw me, like, struggling. Draw Aries Spears getting beat up. <laughs> 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 That's what I identify as. I'm going to start dressing like I voted for Trump, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Just real crazy and, like, neoconservative. When I pull up to places, I want people to think, this nigga definitely got an AK-47 in his khaki shorts. <laughs> We should just be careful. Do you think that Future is actually like a, a cyborg by the pharmaceutical company? Sent from the future? <laughs> the future sent is from the actual future? He's actually like selling actual medicine. <laughs> he actually is. Somebody made a meme. <laughs> His future actually is. It was like Future drops an album and it was just like a, a bunch of CEOs like, yes, like, like all high fiving each other. <laughs> Oh, God. I wish you could get uh, vanity social security numbers like license plates. Uh. <laughs> just change it to a long ass cuss word. Like, just fuck with like <laughs> six U's. <laughs> <laughs> you ever try to use a Snickers wrap for a condom? <laughs> it's the same effect. I think I fucked up yesterday and wiped my ass with a brown paper towel and couldn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't know when to stop. <laughs> oh, man. How long have you been thinking about killing yourself? <laughs> Just, you know, I should start a timer every time I get suicidal <laughs> and then add up the hours later on and then deduct it from my taxes, because it's a part of my brand. I think we should take all seat belts out of cars. <laughs> just, you just let, let nature take its course. <laughs> Do you think we should just release a bunch of hyenas into the White House? <laughs> I think Raymond Simone gonna run for president in 2020. <laughs> you ever put Molly in your butt? Is that a thing? Can you put Molly in your butt? I think you're supposed to dissolve it in uh, some water. And you're supposed to stand, do a handstand. Okay. You're supposed to pump it in with a turkey baster. Ah. And then you gotta get a big Dominican nigga named Eduardo to come shake you up like a cocktail. <laughs> I call it the Molly Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done. This is Zach. Is this a Rorschach test? <laughs> <laughs> when I think of Zach, I think of Senior Bug Nuts. Mm -hmm. He has bug nuts, and then he has no face. <laughs> He's just a vast emptiness. And that's a titty. It's definitely a titty. That's beautiful. The symmetry is alarming. To make something that symmetrical, you have to um, honestly be someone who would shoot into a crowd of people. <laughs> to achieve that without a straight edge is indicative of a sociopath. You know what I mean? Like, I bet Hitler could draw a perfectly straight line. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's not normal. This nigga Hitler was in art class drawing perfect circles <laughs> the first time. You ready? Oh. This is heavy. <laughs> you ever close your eyes and shove your fingers really hard into it so you start seeing dots? That's kind of the first thing that comes to my head when I think of Steven. And the ball is life thing is just because 
He secretly wants to play basketball, I think. The pentagram it has no satanic connotation whatsoever. That's actually just how my nut comes out. This is a lot of me, a lot of me and him in it, you know. I think it's fantastic. I think both of these are fantastic pieces <laughs> of art.